at Taiwan Airport dito sa Taipei Taiwan and proceeding na kami sa immigration just waiting for John and nagpipill up siya ng kanyang arrival form ngayon niya lang ginagawa kasi wala siyang buhok na yun si Auntie Hao nakita na <laughs> yung idol saan na kayo yan ayan o o ayun na nakasave si nakadownload <laughs> Nagano po sa akong gravel, nakita ko itong sa'yo. Ay, sumito. Hindi ko alam mag-isaan, Idol. Ah, Garvin. Ano to, John? Isa sa mga naunang bike vlogger. Si Andy Al. Kuya Ian. Yan, just recent lang nalamit pa natin si Anli Ahon. So, isa sa mga naunang bike vlogger sa Pilipinas. Yan, sayang na hindi ako magpapicture eh. So, next time na lang siguro. Pero nabidyo ako naman siya rito sa 360. Kaya mas okay na yun, di ba? Hindi ko salita pa. Tapos, yun, nakausap pa pa. Yeah. No? Okay, tapos na kami sa immigration. Now, pupunta naman kami sa Taiwan, Lucky, Lucky Land. Na may chance kaming, we have a chance to win 5,000 Taiwan Dollars. Para siyang lottery, Ayan, you can win 5,000. Explain mo yung kontrata natin. Rapple prices. So, pag yung kontrata namin, pag dalawa kami nanalo, eh di good. But, if isa lang sa amin na manalo, we could share food namin or transportation or what. Tagatay kung tayo mananalo ha. Ito na oh. Okay, let's try natin. Kailangan lang natin ng QR. <laughs> QR lang. Talo na po. Try natin. Oh. Tignan natin kung mananalo tayo. Mananalo pa tayo. Yes. Nakita rin naman yung camera mo sa likod. Start mo. Ayan o. Oh, kito. Tablet kasi tignan mo. Pitot. Uy! Nilalo ka! O yan. Talo ako. Talo ako sa Lucky Land. Wala talaga akong ano eh. Nilalo po ako. Wala talaga akong luck sa ganyan sa Lucky Land. Nanalo siya o. Pakita mo! Oh, yaba mo. Lalo ng 5,000. Pakita mo, pre. Galing kay Kuya Will. Lapit mo. 5,000 galing kay Kuya Will. Naalas si Jen. Moments later. So, we're trying yung MRT ng Taipei. So, we're here sa airport going to Taipei Main Station via the Purple Line. So, ipupunta kayo dito galing sa airport. So, mga kayo sa platform number 2. The purple line. Exactly. Platform number. Going to Taipei Main Station and then change to red line para magpunta dun sa Taipei 1. Ayun daw pa ganun daw. Ah. Yun lang. Tapos bumili pala ako ng hindi ko na video yun. Nasa taas. Easy card. Para siyang sa atin yung beep card. Beep card. Natatap up mo yung pera. You can use it for purchasing sa mga store and even yung u-bike and buses and even in any other transport Ang ganda rin ng San Jose, Singapore. Na yung may, may main station sa La Prom Airport. Tapos nilipat ka from main station. Uh, from airport to main station. And then, to na yung different
nakarating na kami ng Taipei Main Station again from Taoyuan Airport sumakay kami ng Purple Line and gamit namin yung Easy Card for for the payment and transfer and then thereafter yeah sumakay kami again ng Purple Line and then don't forget na sasakay nyo ay platform number 2 because if platform number 1 mapupunta kayo sa ibang direction and then yung platform number 2 kasi yung pinaka end station nya is itong Taipei Main Station now we're going to to red line yeah, lilipat kami ng line MRT red line quick update nagka problema si John sa kanyang card Oh, yan na. Tayo na. Kaya binaks, pinagbuksan na lang siya. Ayan yung preso. <laughs> Hindi siya makalabas. <laughs> So we've reached na yung final destination namin ng MRT, which is the Taipei 101 World Trade Center. Yeah. So ito kasi malapit sa venue ng event namin and also malapit din sa aming hostel. So dito kami yung magpa-final stop and it's a, it's a 10 minutes walk long from here to the hotel na pag namin. So yun nga no, na-reach na namin ng World Trade Center, Taipei 101. Palabas na kami, papunta naman sa hotel. Vloggers! Vloggeries! Vloggeries yun! Vloggeries <laughs> yun! Ang top natin. Hindi ko nakita. Magkano nila? 25. 4.825. Palabas na tayo ng Taipei 101. Taipei 101 and then sa background ito yung CICC World Trade Center yung venue yung World Trade so at least alam na namin kung saan tara lakad na tayo para makakain na sunshine my love so Gaya ng kwento ko kanina, we're walking from Taipei Main Station to uh, our hostel. Pero sa so, Jindimi nakita kami na parang local, local siya na restaurant which they sell beef, beef stew, and then pork, turkey, and then nakita ko to. It's a lamb with rice. So this is my first time makakatry ng lamb, kaya na-curious ako dito. So let's see anong lasa, okay? Lasa siyang pangalawang suko. Hindi ko madiscover lasa. It's actually like a beef with combination of chicken. I can, I can explain. Wait. Yeah. It's actually super tender and soft. And pa siyang naluluso sa bibig. So, and sige, kain lang yung mga impression. And kain lang muna ako. Kain lang. By the way, for the price, 120 new Taiwan dollar. So, compete nyo lang times 1.7 or 1.8. Yung kasi average siya 1.8. So, 120 times 1.7. It's actually costly, but I think worth it siya. So, we're currently walking now, going to Elephant Mountain. By the way, I forgot to update you na magpahinga lang muna kami. After namin kumain kanina ng lunch, we step for, I think, more than an hour just to recover. Galing dun sa nakakapagod na biyahe. Although, walang jet lag, but 
yung biyahe kasi although yung kay alam niyo mga Pilipino 5 hours before the flight na sa airport na kahit madaling araw which is yun nakakapagod and bawi lang ng tulog ngayon we're heading to Elephant Mountain and it's already 5pm so we're hoping to see the city lights while on the top of the Elephant Mountain viewing deck so I'm going to rent this U-bike, they call it U-bike let's give it a try maybe a couple of seconds later you'll see me riding this U-bike 2.0 so yeah after a series of registration try na natin yun, may $225 pa ako yan, sige try na natin, meron na tayong gagamitin U-bike, hilay mo lang okay, may kita nyo na ako sa daanan ha Oh, ayo kita video. Di sini next next, apa nanti? 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 Di So, how was the experience when it comes to the functionality of the bike? It has three gears, like gear 1, gear 2, gear 3. However, for the cons, it's actually heavy. Yep. And I don't want to ride a bike like that since I'm riding mountain bike. And also, they're still using manual brake. Or, it's not, it's not a, what you call this, the hydraulic brake? Yeah. It's not hydraulic. So, kung nagma mountain bike kayo and you're using hydraulic, maninibag ka pa. But for the overall experience, it was fun. And they charge us zero for that first time using the U-Bike. Maybe, let's just the, the U-Bike more. We we'll still have six days here in Taipei. And yep, I'm planning to ride the U-Bike and also capture some video while in a specific location like for example I'm riding the U-bike around Taipei 101 a while ago and then maybe next time I'll ride a U-bike around in Simending or in other areas here in Taipei or maybe in Northern Taipei since, since U-bike is also available not only here in Taipei but also in the Northern part of Taiwan and also in other parts of Taiwan so yeah let's see okay yeah. I'm going to hike down the elephant mountain. Again, this is exactly 700 meters elevation gain. But like extra bad, eh? Trouble. in the placard below that it will it it will take you 10 minutes to hike this mountain it's not it's actually beginner friendly because it has a staircase and it's not a rough road it's not a gravel road but uh, <laughs> i don't want to see again <laughs> Ano pre? Ano? Boy pa? Ano? Ano rati? Okay. Ay, di po ako hinihingal. 
Walang lingan. <coughs> How many meters pa? I think 100 more meters to go. <laughs> Okay, another viewing deck, but it's much nicer compared to the other two. As you can see. So, we're going down now. Oh, it's going up. It's going up. It's going up. I don't know how to do it. It's going up. It's going up. It's and tag dito skyline from Elephant Mountain skyline of Taipei from Elephant Mountain yung view mo dun and just to give you a glimpse or maybe yeah to show you what it looks like eto pakita ko sa next clip ting no okay ba? ganda diba? So, kung may bala kayong pumunta ng uh, Taipei, o yung palampasin tong Elephant Mountain, it's totally free. Walang bayad. Wala siyang bayad. And, uh, what can I say? Yeah, prepare lang ng proper attire. Because right now, I'm wearing a jeans. As you can see, it's not the proper attire for this kind of hike. So, you should wear maybe a comfortable uh, shorts, loose clothes, oh, loose clothes, or maybe if you can wear a dry fit shirt, yeah. dry fit shirt, yeah, much better. It's best to do it morning and also like the golden hour time, right? Yeah, yeah. around maybe 5 p.m. It's not too hot, it's not too cold. And I guess dito na ko conclude yung video natin for today. That is my first day here at Taipei and ending here to this kind of beautiful view ni Taipei 101 and ng skyline ni Taipei Ang ginagawa mo dyan? Anong unit mo? Hindi dito kasi sa hostel ano, uh, do it yourself Pwede mo gamitin lahat ng gamit sa kitchen yeah, Microwave mga utensils Siyempre, ikaw rin magugas Loose mo ng pork, chopstick and even yung mga ang taga kawali yan yan sa spray water filtered hot and cold may oven may coffee maker coffee maker yan dito sa pinagstay namin merong gitara merong gitara may reception I think from 7am to 10pm tapos may may rep yan may TV Tapos yung gamit sa kitchen. Kanina yung ginagamit nyo yun. Okay din siya. Pero do it yourself lahat siya. Day 2. Taipei. And as you can see sa previous video before ito, let's not bike kami using U-Bike from our hostel to Taipei 101 or World Trade Center Station. And we're heading to Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall, which is actually one of the uh, top tourist spots here sa Taipei. Yeah, we're visiting the Chiang Kai-shek. Again, we we will be riding this metro again, Shangshan line or red line again. All right, let's go. So now all.
So we are finally here na sa Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. But technically hindi pa to si hindi pa to yung Chiang Kai-shek Memorial. I don't know what this is, but let's see. It's a big place eh. Pero ma malawak siya. And let's try and explore and if there's any information about the place. Right? And it's currently umaambon right now. So as you can see, daming naka-jacket, makapayong and lamig and hear me naka short so mga metal lang makakaya yan ito na pala pre dyan dyan Finally here na sa Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. Yeah. So if you don't know Chiang Kai-shek, he is actually one of the nationalist leader of Taiwan before. And from what I know, he is the leader of the nationalist party during the time when Taiwan parang nagretreat nag sila from the mainland China up to the Taiwan Island. So, um, let's read about Chiang Kai-shek more. Pa dun sa, maybe dun sa uh, atag dito, information na tablet. So, we are climbing na. But that's a uh, po. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kababa yan. <laughs> Papunta sa Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. Let's see what's inside, di ba? Ganda. Ganda ng architecture ng pagkakagawa nitong Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. Let's see. Let's see anong views at us. And what's inside. Beautiful, isn't it? I'm sorry, I can't understand. <laughs> Maybe them. I don't know how Chinese, so I don't know. Team view. Team view. Marami ng tao ngayon, ng mga nag-aabang sa guard. Kasi nga, like what I said, they're, they're waiting for the changing of guard. I think it's a tradition, similar to Dr. Jose Rizal's uh, changing of guard sa Luneta Park. Right. So yeah, enjoy ko lang muna dito yung view. Maybe take some photos as well, and then I'll post it later. Like what I said a while ago. They're waiting for the changing of cards. And ang dami ng tao. Let me give you a semi-bird's eye view of what's happening inside. Okay. Maybe I'll just wait for a bit until they change the guard. So yun na nga yung Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall, changing of guards, no? And now I'm heading na sa, ayun na background kasi, Memorial Hall. I'm heading na dito, by the way, I forgot to mention, it's still cherry blossom season dito sa area ng Taipei na to. That's why, as you can see later, ayun na, sa harap ko, turo ko. May mga cherry blossom pa. Diba? 
booming na siya ngayon yan, for example itong puno na to and yung buong area ang ganda ayan o oh. siguro uh, makukonsider natin na mission success kasi nakaabot pa tayo ng cherry blossom kasi I really want to see some actual cherry blossom not only sa anime isa ka sa mga movie ng Japan so ito meron siya pero patapos na siya March ang start kasi ng cherry blossom dito sa Taipei is around February and early March since still March 6 first week or second week ng March there's still a cherry blossom but maybe next week pawala na to kasi you can see naman no marami ng branches yung naglaglaga na yung mga flowers Hindi ko alam kung nasa na ako, pero parang every corner, every liko, maganda eh. Sabi ko kanina, last na, last na video ko na dito sa Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. Pero, <laughs> madali ko kung gaganda na nakita ko kaya nag-video ulit ako. I'm here na sa, they call it Jishu Park. I don't know the exact pronunciation. But yep, it's a Jishu Park. And then, meron na sila dito ang mga rec recreational activity, temples, some attractions, some monuments. And then there's also like a program, like, I don't know if, it, if it's called Tai Chi or yoga, yo yoga kind of stuff. But I don't know, I don't know exactly. And we're here, the main target namin dito is to visit the Taiwan National Library. Yeah, and I'm just curious what to see there. I'm just walking here, dito sa park. And then nakita ko, Si Avatar Roku! Nanood na panood yun na ba Avatar dahil ang hirap tayo? Andito si Avatar Roku! Teka nga kakausapin ko. Si Avatar Roku! Diba? Tama ba? Ah, just kidding lang. Baka mabasa ko dun ha. Hindi ko siya kalala. Hindi ko mabasa. Chinese yung karakter ng sulat eh. Pero yun. Hindi ko lang kasi na siya. Uh, quick update, nag 7-Eleven lang dahil nagutom at nakuhaw. Yeah. Ano yung say, pre? Parang kuwasang, kuwasang, parang kuwasang na style na bread eh. Hindi, pork plus, ah, ano pork plus. Ah, kung nagutan nyo, ano yan, San Marino. Oh. Sa akin naman, parang siyang chocolate sa appearance. Uh -huh. Pero pag kinagat mo, parang chocolate na kukuha yung dating. Saka may munggo, ganong lasa. Pero masarap pa. By the way, dito na pala kami sa ano. Taipei 101. And we will be visiting the Sinye Plaza. Kasi magsashopping daw siya dyan. So nasa Taipei 101 na kami. Pakita ko sa inyo kung anong meron sa loob. So, nasa loob na kami ng Taipei 101. And then, and then we're just window shopping. Kasi, I would say, na yung mall na to is for luxury. Like, you can see Chanel, you can see Christian Dior, Boss, Ralph Lauren, Louis Vuitton, and, ano pa ba? CDR King, and yan, Christian Dior again, Omega, 
Katingko, yan, yan, Bix, Vaporub. <laughs> Ang ganap lang kami ng Nike. Nike shoes. Diyan kasi bibili ng sapatos. Gagamitin niya yung pera na panalaw na niya doon sa Taiwan Lucky Night para mabili ng sapatos. <laughs> Nag-abroad lang na mabili ng sapatos eh. Kasha? Moments later. We're done na sa grocery nito. Ay, shopping ni John na mabili siya ng sapatos. Ngayon, we're looking for something to eat. Lunch. And maybe beef wonton or whatsoever. Soup na mala mainit because of, of the cold weather parang na naisim eh hindi tayo misa parang night market local market actually so after a long walk from Taipei one to one we decide na kumain dito sa parang local market local market selling tofu and also one to noodles beef noodles so we go we decided to go for wonton noodles plus tofu. Laki ng tofu na natin. Later. Um, and if you can reach here early, uh, that would be better. <laughs> no, 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 that, that's, that's, that's better. It's better. It's better. It's better. It's better. It's better. It's Orientation workshop and the human library. I'm going to talk about the human library right after. One minute, slow.
corporate. Thank you so much. Can I also have a photo? Please. Nice to meet you, man. Sorry. Sorry. Thank you. Uh, kakatapos namin ng World Cup Asia organizing team. And since it's tapos na yung duty namin doon, side trip kami. Sa dami ang bunta. Sa dami ang bunta. Yeah, tama. Pupunta kami doon sa university ko sa Chinuting yung Mitchell Garden. So, change of plans. Instead na sa pupunta sa Mitchell Garden, we're planning to go doon sa mga kaibigan namin. Nakita lang namin sa Google Map na they are near around. So, surprise sa amin sila. Let's see. One hour later. Oh, you okay? <laughs> Hello, Bishop Wu, Long Time Mercy. This is a very spontaneous. Uh, destination. Ano siya eh? It's like, hindi namin planned na pumunta rito sa Daan Park. But, surprisingly, it's actually beautiful. Lots of flowers. Because of the weather, it's a cold weather here in Taiwan. And as you can see, it's blooming yung mga flowers. Next morning. Okay, so it's our day five. Dito sa Taiwan, and nandito kami yun sa Bay Two District. We will try the hot spring. Yung sikat na hot spring dito na location. There's actually two public bath, all of course private. And Bay Two is the only location here sa Taiwan kung saan pwede kang mag hot spring, experience hot spring. Like what I said, it's already day five. Kasi hindi ako nag Vlog during our work camp uh, no, conference. Medyo hindi man tinatamad pero mas busy kasi dun sa volunteer work yung as an organizer. Kaya hindi ko natutukan yung magsalita yung mga vlog mga gantong content. Pero yun nga masabay ito kami eh, pupunta kami dun sa hot spring. Cycling from Bay to MRT Red Line Station Going to the Hot Spring Yung dun mismo sa Bay to So let's see kung ano may kita natin doon And medyo paangat dito kaya Pinaka mababang gear yung gamit ko Ah, makakaingal Medyo bundok dito Update! <laughs> Naghanap kami ng pinakamalapit na U-bike. Kaya lang nangyari, umakit kami ng bundok gamit yung bike. And yung ano lang to, three gears lang. So pinakamababa. Yung pinakamababa ay, I guess, 32. 32 tit lang. And... <coughs> Ayaw na! 
Oh, kahingal. Pero ang ganda ng view, ha? No? In fairness, no? Ang ganda ng view, ha? Bang makikita. Tingin mo sa likod namin. Ayun yung backer na view. Tapos, merong hot spring dito na ilog. Hot spring na ilog. Hot spring siya, pero parang river flowing. Ganun. And we will explore more this place. Kung marami pa kami may kita. First, let's go here. It's an outdoor public hot spring. Okay, let's visit. It's a part of traditional. It's a traditional house. And then you'll see there my entrance. I don't know how much. Sure. It's a public house. Ah, ganun. Yung mga nakawad dyan. It's a hot spring. Para kami makapagamit ng hot spring is it requires us to bumili nung pang swimwear. Which we don't have. This is a cold country. Bakit kami dadalaw swimwear, right? So yes, they're requiring us to wear a speedo, speedo or some kind of swimmer suit and we decided to maybe just go around na lang sa mga areas dito na malalapit Thermal Bali Hot Spring <laughs> So yep, that is the Thermal Bali There's a Bay 2 Thermal Bali So basically it's a sulfuric it kinda smell like sulfur. So it's kinda a hot spring reservoir. But kinda ano rin. Nagpo-flow rin siya kahit pa paano. So if you want to visit this, the opening hours niya, the public is 9am, 5pm every Tuesday to Sunday. And open hours are extended in summer until 6pm. I don't know why summer since hot spring siya. Yeah. It's actually a beautiful place. Relaxing pa yung vibe. Huwag mo lang amoyin ng usok kasi amoy. Ay, yung steam na usok. Steam. Kasi amoy sulfur siya. For sure, galing sa uh, sulfur from volcano. Yung nagpapainit. Dahil sa maganda yung lugar, nakalimutan na namin mag-video-video. Kaya, hindi. Nahunting kami kanina ng hot spring ulit. Na baka pwede kami makaligo. Pero dahil nga, maganda yung lugar. Picture na kami ng picture ni John. Nakalimutan na namin mag video video. Parang walk, ano siya, maganda siya mag photo walk. Ecological. Parang siyang rural. Na may konting city vibes. Na relax konti. And then at the same time with nature. Like hot spring. Greenery. Yung, yung, yung vegetation ng lugar. Maganda rin. Daming halaman. Kaya yung quality din ng air. <sighs> Sarap ng quality ng oxygen. Kahangin. Pili ko masarap magbike dito. Eh. Kasi yung oxygen na ma-circulate sa dugo mo. Malinis. Saka maayos. Diyan, muna pa ako sa'yo. <laughs> One pair of pants later. So last minute, dito kami ngayon sa Yilyu Geo, Yilyu Geo Park. So nagbuka kami lang ng joiners and may nakilala lang kami sa Facebook. Sila yung binok namin instead na kulok. Kasi sa kulok and KK Day, hindi na available yung 2 days. Oh, oh hindi na siya available kasi 1 day before the trip lang kami nagbuka. Sa kulok at least 2 days before the trip. 
yung kay kailangan kaya ganun so dito ito yung parang Mars ang itsura parang moon parang out of this world yung itsura so let's see what's inside and I'll show you and kakabayad lang namin ng entrance fee which is $120 so kapo kanina dito po tayo tapos pagka dahan nyo po dyan sa forest bungad po yung itong area tapos bali i-diretso nyo lang po yan hanggang may makita po kayo nagdan sa may bandang gitna kawaba po yun kasi yun po yung pababa papunta ang princess ito yung mga footage ay yung una nyo makikita once na pumasok ka dito sa Yilyu Geo Park again it's $120 uh, NTD dollars per entrance fee and ito na siya ito na pala yung maganda ayun o fight ako sa inyo first impression it actually out of this world yeah ito yung parang sabi nila parang Mars yeah, out of this world talaga yung itsura So, na-reach ka na yung ending. Meron siyang red line, makita nyo. Yung red line na yan. Ibig sabihin yan, off limits na. And it's too dangerous na to cross, to cross that line, that red line. So, yep, sundin na lang natin yung mga safety precautions. Para hindi naman sa atin yan. But, $120 entrance, it's worth it. Yeah. And it's for the maintenance din naman ng geopark so yep. so I would say it's okay and so did and I really like it and damn you know put it and I can play around yep so I'm going to play around 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 Oops, muntik ka na. Medyo mulat kasi kaya madulas. Okay na ako dun. Medyo satisfy na yung ano ko, mga picture-picture. May naman nakasabay tayo mga astronaut to. Mga nakasabay. Mga nakasabay. Mga nakasabay. Mga nakasabay. Mga nakasabay. Mga nakasabay. Yan sila. Mga nakasabay. Mga nakasabay. So we are done with the first part in the inside location. And now, ito kami sa parang viewing point. Dagat. May parang binocular dito. Siguro pang munong iba. Pakita ko sa iyo. Teka, tingnan ko. Tingnan ko muna kung ano may kita. May maganda naman may kita. Pakita ko sa inyo. Ito. Dahil ang dami ko ng footage dun sa first part Medyo tinamad na ako dito sa first part ng Yilu Geo Park So I just decided na mag take ng photos Para mga photos tayo and using retro style and dito is sa pinaka middle they call it queen's bookstore dito nyo rin may kita yung 
yung restroom, may mga kainan konti. Tapos, kung gusto nyong mag-hike, merong hike doon. Hike 1, and then may hike 2. Doon. And then, turn left dito. Yan, if you turn left, kita nyo, parang same siya nung nandoon sa first part. Pagpasok na pagpasok ko ng Yili. Geo Park. Nandito na kami sa Geo Pen. I don't know if I pronounce it correctly. Geo Pen. So this is like known for ganyan sa mga lanterns. And my climb siya kaunti and this is where we will going to eat our lunch Third location na, they call it Golden Waterfalls. Ayan yung nakita nyo. Hindi ko lang bakit siya golden, kulay brown naman siya. Siguro gold, golden brown waterfalls. And, ang ganda niya actually. And, kita kita mo yung flowing water niya galing sa bundok. Sa taas pa ng bundok. And, yeah. Wala akong masabi. Ganda siya. Yung dito sa likod ko, yun yung Golden Waterfalls. And then, itong naman na nasa harap ko. I don't know what the name of the mountain is, but ang ganda niya tignan. Sarap nga magbike dito, I think. Kasi, yung daanan niya, siko-siko, paes, and paahon. Kaya may enjoy dito ng mga bikers, lalo yung mga ma mahilig kumangon. So far, I really, I'm, I'm really enjoying this tour. Which is a, a joiner's tour dito sa Taiwan. So you'll see the ocean background and at the same time yung mga sedimentary rocks na may different uh, formation. It's actually fascinating if tinignan mo sila. Bebe yung kulay para siyang yung dun sa Yilo Geo Park and it is out of this world. Hindi mo alam paano sila na form and siguro dati lubog tong Taiwan before kung paano sila ng form. Kasi, di ba yung ganyan, magiging resulta lang siya ng pagtama ng tubig, yung gaya sa mga stalagtite, stalagmite. But this time, yung wave. Hindi ko alam kung sure yung mga sinasabi ko, but ano lang siya, mga churi lang. Tapos, ang ganda ito. Ang Tapos, napapalagi rin siya ng mga bundok. Kaya, okay doon. Tapos may boulder, malaking bato. Diba? Hi. Hi. We are now heading to Shippen Waterfall. Time check, it's already 3.15 p.m. And the ideal end of this tour is around 4.30 or 5 p.m. Para 7 p.m. makauwi na. So yeah, Shippen Waterfall, just walking. We, need, we just need to walk dito sa river crossing. Not really river crossing, but pero may tulay. 
Tapos may another tulay. It's like a hanging bridge, pero hindi naman a hanging bridge. And then, yeah, it's really a hanging bridge, pero mas matibay siya. It's just a waterfall. They call it sheep and waterfall. Wood trip muna tayo. So, this is a ship and water ship. ship. Ship when ship when ship ship when waterfalls. Abang pa babagan pa baba. Paganda na paganda yung view. Gaya ni ka. So in order for you to get a view like this. Kailangan mo mag-start doon sa pinaka-top na nasa taas talaga and then you have to trail down pababa hanggang dito sa spot na to. I think ito yung pinaka-mababa if I'm not mistaken. And then of course, ito yung reward. Ganda ng waterfalls yun yung view, no? Mamaya ako napaproblemahin yung pocket pabalik. Again, gaya nang sabi ko kanina May great reward pero pag pabalik, of course Hihingalin <sighs> ko naman pabalik Kasi kailangan mo mag-hike O oh, yung trail niya paangat naman Kasi bumaba ka eh Pero I would say, na worth it yun Since, wala naman talagang bayad Hihingal <sighs> ako Later. So we are finally here na sa aming last destination which is magpapalipad kami ng mga lanterns gaya noon nakikita nyo Sa daw sa sa. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, okay, look at me. Okay, three, two, one. Let's go. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Sayang two fifty. Sayang two fifty. Tiga ribu, tiga ribu. Two fifty ni lebih pun. To give you an overview, the lantern that is cost us two hundred fifty. Taiwan dollars, and we contribute kami tigpe fifty since five kami. Pion tigpe fifty, and then ng sulit kami sa each side ng aming mga whatever would like to ride. So wishes, tayo nalagi ko the Lord is my shepherd, and after na picture picture nakita niyo naman, tapos video yung mga ginagawa niyang exhibition, kung ano-ano pinapagawa sa amin, pa heart art, pa ganun-ganun, whatsoever. Tapos, sinawakan namin, pinalipad lang, ayun na ito, 50. Lumipad lang ito, 50 namin. And okay, that's all of our location and destination. And that concludes our trip dito sa North Coast Tour sa Taiwan. So, if you're interested, bigay ko yung link ni Kuya and driver namin dito sa baba para kontakin niyo siya to book and reserve the next morning okay it's actually our final day here sa Taiwan and kukunin lang namin ng power bank ni John doon sa hostel ng kasama namin kasi hiniram yung <laughs> hiniram yung power bank niya kasi hindi binalik I mean nakalimutan niya balik tapos binili na lang niya doon sa hostel niya kasi nalay na sila kagabi And before we go, nag-check out na rin kami sa airport. As nag-check out na rin kami sa hotel namin. And then, by the way, naiiniwan namin yung luggages ko na sa uh, MRT locker. Which is super convenient. Para wala kaming bit-bit. While we still uh, gala-gala pa dito. Ang plan namin is to go sa Taipei Zoo. And doon namin i-spend yung half day namin. Like around 12 noon to 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. And then, yep, let's see what will happen today. By the way, I forgot to mention, siguro lagi nyo napapansin bakit kami lagi na bike, no? Kasi, super convenient itong tinatawag nilang U-bike. Because in less than, if you ride the bike in less than 30 minutes, wala siyang bayad. You'll just have to tap using your easy card yung easy card yung parang mode of payment nila karamihan and wala siyang bayad that's why it's super convenient kaya ito yung lagi namin ginagamit yeah kaya magbibisit kayo ng Taiwan this is a must which is good ma, uh, good siya sa experience saka convenient siya when it comes to uh, transportation lalo na kung point to point lang like Less than 2 kilometers, 3 kilometers, super efficient. Unlike if you buy it, there are also Uber, taxi, however super mahal. Like 2 kilometers, 7 minutes drive, it will cost you 180 Taiwan dollars again-again, right? So, yeah, that's why. day here dito sa Taiwan we decided to spend half day sa Taiwan Zoo which is what where we were going yeah as you can see in front of me that is a Taiwan Zoo entrance so to go here you have to ride the brown line so whatever or wherever ka saan ka magagaling like for example accessible ka sa red line or blue line make sure na may kita mo yung brown line and then transfer to brown line then, yung pinakadulo ng brown line, which is Taipei Zoo, yun yun. Yep. 
and if I'm not mistaken, the entrance fee would be around around 50 NTD. So if you will convert it to peso, Philippine peso, it will cost you around 1. Point, uh, times 1.7, so maybe 70 to 80 pesos. Eight, uh, yeah, 70 to 80 pesos just to access this type page yeah. this is the process as you can see regular ticket too so we are about to enter type A2 yeah. we, go. Yeah. we are about to enter type A2 and in scan yung QR code na generate sa ticket and let's explore let's see what's what we can find here yeah there me my dear i'm not sure if kita niyo sa camera pero yeah Iba wala pang sungay, iba meron na. Don ka na? Para... This time, it's the wild boar. Aba tawag na nito sa Tagalog? Babay ramo. Ando sila sa malayo eh, parang they're isolating themselves sa mga tao. Ayaw nila. So, this is a peasant. You're so peasant, peasant. <laughs> Shin wo, swing house, best. Yeah. Shy type siya tingin mo. Dito naman ako. Dilipat siya sa kabila. Oh, oh, oh. Shy type. Ito ulit, oh. Shy type. Dilipat ulit sa kabila. Dika, may nakita akong daan ng dito. Let's see what's in here. Oh, madilim. May gapang-gapang talaga. Ano to sa kabila? Ano ito nasa ilalim? Ang bata. Ito naman ay Formosan Cero. Hindi ko lang pa ni Cero niya. Pero siguro family of deer. He looks like a deer. Paro-paro sa likod ko. Ano, nararamdaman ko dyan? Kinakadag ba nila ako? Ano, 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 Walang ganito sa Pilipinas ha? No? Hmm? Sa kanila nasa sa yung ganitong hayop hmm? Walang ganito sa Pilipinas Hi alpaka Dito na kami sa panda. So, yan naman yung sa panda. So, first time ko makakita ng panda kanina. Yung nakita nyo yung mga footage na nauna. Yun nung panda. And... Ko alam ko siya ma-explain eh, pero ang saya siya makita sarap niya panawarin kumain ang happy happy niya lang taba taba niya, cute cute kaya, kaya dito yung favorite ng mga tao siguro highlight din siya ng type A zoo eh isa panda dito, kaya tingnan nyo ang haba ng pizza okay, zebra naman pagandahan ng pwet ang tingin mo yung zebra oh, kaya pakaya sa pwet sa amin eh Ay na, sibra. Ay, sibra. Girap, girap, girap. Ay na sila.
Tchau, bye. Tchau, bye. Tchau, bye. Tchau, bye. Tchau, gai. Tchau, bye. Tchau, gai. Tchau, bye. Tchau, gai. Tchau, bye. Tchau, gai. Tchau, bye. Hayop itong mga to oh? Anong kamukha ng new jeans? Hayop sa ganda oh? Para silang dahon no? Like in coma blood show Coma dried leaves Ito naman yung mga cricket oh? Cricket There you go Cricket. Ito naman, donkey. Oh. Donkey. Ito naman, raccoon. No? Rocket. Raccoon. Rocket the raccoon. Naya siya, shy type. Rocket. Pare, kamo sa temperature ng tubig? Ah, pare. Kamo sa temperature ng tubig? Ay, tago niya. Ndarito. Pare, ba, ba, nabanggit ko na ba yung, nabanggit ko na ba yung price? It's only cost $30. You uh, ano, uh, Taiwan dollars. Para makapag-entrance ka dito sa Taipei. So, ayun. Maling ginawa namin. Wala kaming payong. Wala kaming kapote. Ganyan, relay lang kami sa jacket namin. Pero, lakas na ng ulan. Pero, we just decided to uh, keep going and explore. And, you can see in the back. Hippo! Yay! Hippo po tamos! Yeah, let's go! Itong hayop na to yung ani. Hindi na pipikon. Ay to sari mo. Lion. Cute. Hirit pa ang tatimo. Kaya Quick update, so yung penguin na inanap namin, wala pala siya kada second week, ng sec second Monday of the week, kasi naka-close yung exhibit. Uh, Nataon pa sa araw na kung kailan kami pumunta, dun wala yung penguin, saka yung polar, polar bear. Yung pala mo nung inanap ko rito. Likod tayo pre. So, sumaki na kami ng ano tag dito, shuttle train pababa galing sa taas ng Taipei Zoo. It costs you around 5 NTD dollars. So, siguro pag kinumpit mo mga 8, sipit pwede na. Parang kasi nakakapag mapapagod ka mag-hike papunta sa Taipei Zoo. So, it's it's a good option din na magdino ka ng pababa. And it's already 4.30 kaya mas okay na na mag shuttle kami para may save pa kami ng energy mamaya sa pagbubuhat ng gamit kapunta ng airport so yeah 5 NTD dollars ito lang pero piling ko maganda rin sa China eventually so kakabalik lang namin galing Taipei 
uh, Taipei Zoo. And niretrieve na namin ng bag namin dito sa locker. So, lahat ng MRT station meron siyang locker. Gaya nito. Ayan, may, dedic- may dedicated number siya. And then, yan. Kailangan mo lang mag-store. Magbabayad ka $20 per hour. Magbibigay siya ng password para ilagay din sa locker. And then, in, in order for you to retrieve, of course, kailangan mo din ng password din. And then, pay for the uh, yung remaining balance. Kunyari, sumobra kayo per hour. $20, $20 lang siya per hour. So, kailangan mo siyang bayaran ulit. So, yun. Napaka-efficient. Dala na ako mag-travel ka pa, tapos iwa, need mong iwanan yung gamit. Diba? Ganda. Alright, dyan. Kunin mo na. Mami, malak ko to. Alright. Got it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So, we are now here na sa airport. So, sumaki kami ng purple line papunta from Taipei Main Station to Taoyuan Terminal 1. And I think this is where we will also end our Taipei Taiwan travel and also for WC Asia, World Camp Asia. And then see you again next year naman sa Manila because that is the, the next venue for the World Camp Asia 2025. See ya!